Hey Floss Tube, it is Kate, the Queen of Starts, and it is Thursday, September 3rd. Because September comes after May, right? It does these days. Um, so that was my last video, I think, was back in May. I was talking about my mania plans, which went, pfft, yeah, they went nowhere. Because I think, I don't even think I did 20 starts for mania. But that's okay. That's okay. I've, I've started quite a few things since then, so it kind of makes up for it. So how is everybody getting along? Surviving? Schooling at home? I'm not. <laughs> you know, uh, homeschooling uh, my oldest versus homeschooling my youngest is two different worlds. So I'm very thankful that uh, right now she has... Two days a week of in-school sessions. So she's at school right now, which she's very happy about. She adores school. So she was very upset when she couldn't start back on August 3rd and go see all of her friends again. But so yeah, she's she's loving first grade and the teenager graduated high school and is back to work after a long furlough and uh, we bought the house we're living in now. We're no longer renters. We are homeowners here in Texas. So, yay. Uh, life's crazy. Uh, isn't it for everybody? Right now, life is still crazy. So, my stitchy bug disappeared for a while. Um, it's I had to try several different of my tricks to get it to come back. But it's back. It's back. I am enjoying working on all kinds of things again. So I have tons to show you. Uh, much more than would fit in a video. One video anyway. So, uh, so much in fact that I've just kind of broken it up into whips, starts, and happy mail. Um, they're not in any kind of order. So I'm going to do my best to tell you what I worked on. If I remember why I worked on it, I'll tell you. But I probably won't remember that. Um, fibro has been kicking my butt. Oh my gosh. Um, meds change and just the weather. Watching a cat walk by the window outside. I have like every light in my room on and the blinds open. I have no sunshine. So it's been raining for three days. <sighs> so, but I'm here. Everybody's still here. We're all doing good. So I hope everybody else is doing good. I'm terribly behind on floss tube as always. And um, the cat apparently wants to come inside. He's not coming inside right now. If I open the door, he's just going to sit on the porch. He'll act like he wants to come in, but he doesn't actually want to come in. <sighs> anyway, so stitching. You came to see stitching, which is what I got. Got lots of pitties to show you. So you got your notebook ready? Right? Am I the only one who watches Floss Tube with a notebook? I have to write everything down that I see, that I want to stitch, that I want to buy, that I want to... You know. Of course. Right? Okay. Anyway. I am going to start with whips. I could start with starts, but I'm not going to. Alright, this is Spirited Mandala. And this is from Ink Circles, by Ink Circles, and I'm looking for the date. It is the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. Haven't the faintest idea which Halloween issue. Oh, there it is. I wrote it on the page. See? Notes. Okay, this is the Halloween 2011 issue. So, Spirited Mandala. I think it was um, magical stitches or enchanted stitches. We were spelling out words, so we had to work on something that started with the letter S. So, hard to tell if I have this upside down because it's symmetrical all around. You know, I'm pretty sure it goes like this. I don't think it matters. But anyway, here we are. You pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous, Ada. 
from Dying for Cross Stitch. And I know I worked this whole section over here. So lots of fun there. You like my frog? He's so sparkly. He's from Brenda's Minders and More. So fun piece to stitch. You know me, I love to do my monochrome pieces because it's just soothing and quick and I don't have to worry about color changes and blah blah. So next up we have another Ink Circles piece. This is Village Square. Isn't it pretty? I don't remember why I worked on this, but... It was not at the same time as that. I know that. So. This is 16, yes, 16 out, 16 count Ada in Calypso from um, Picture This Plus. Yes, yes, okay. So it worked in the middle. Isn't that thread gorgeous? This is one of the uh, Coloris colors for 4514. So I'm doing the whole thing in that, and it's just so much fun to to work with but I did I had all I had done was this little center section here so I did all of this around the center and I have a little sunshine needle minder from Brenda's minders and more okay I have been working on all of my stained glass pieces, my fan art stained glass pieces. So, started a few new ones. This is one of the really tall ones that I'm doing. Okay, but it is Winnie the Pooh, and he and all of his friends are hanging onto some balloons. This is 18 count beige Ada, and I had this little section right here done. So, I did all of this and I worked down the balloon. This is the width of the first page. So worked on all of that and I have this Winnie the Pooh munching on some popcorn and I have this stack of uh, Tsum Tsums with Winnie the Pooh in it. I believe both of those are from Nessa's Needle Minders. So I've been stitching a lot of black. I actually am looking at buying another cone of black floss. My my humongous giant cone is finally about half, about at the halfway point, and I have a lot of projects earmarked for that cone for consistency issues. I want to make sure all my black floss came from the same cone. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to buy a new cone of black floss soon. It's crazy. All right. I think this was for Stitcher's Journal, something that makes me smile a while back. Uh, this is Every Now and Then from Solvum Probler. No, I'm not saying that backwards. I know with Fabio you think I am. But no, that's the name of the shop. Solvum Probler. Think problem solver, but flip it. Uh, on Etsy. And I'm I am definitely holding this upside down. And this is 18 count antique white Ada. But it says... I, I did a lot of the words. I think I had right in here this part done. So I did all of this down here and all of this. But the whole thing says every now and then I have to remind myself that I love my children and I do not wish to sell them. I have to remind myself of this daily. Most of the time I don't want to sell them. I want to take them down to the state park and let the coyotes raise them. But that's another story. So worked on a lot of the words there. And I have my screaming purple minion, because that is so me as a mom a lot of days. Uh, am I the only one who can get my family to do something only by screaming and turning into a crazy person? Anyway, don't know where the purple minion came from, but. Okay, next up is 
another one of the stained glass pieces fan art uh, this is Mickey Mouse reading a book this is another 18 count beige and I got a lot done on this I had this tiny little section of border done right here so I did all of this border down the side of page one maybe it's not quite all the way down size it might be I did the full width and I started to do a little bit right in there so a whole lot done on that piece I have a sparkly Mickey Mouse head needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's called that anymore. Gina might have changed the name. It might be just Gina's Unique Needle Minders. But it was Gina's Unique Boutique when I when I bought, bought them. The rooster next door is convinced that the sun hasn't come up yet, so he's still crowing. In case you hear him. Okay, this was a Halloween piece I worked on for Stitcher's Journal. And I think, hmm, I think one of Magical Stitches or Enchanted Stitches, one of them had another Halloween prompt. But anyway, this is Who's There by uh, Prairie Schooler. Look, more black. Stitching a lot of black lately. Um, so this is 14 count. Uh, sand, Ada, and don't worry, I, I know I cut it kind of small, kind of tight there, but I did that on purpose. I don't remember why I cut it that small, but I'm sure I had a reason. Anyway, so I had all of this, this section here done, so I finished up the door here, the bottom part of the house with the black, the fence, oh, excuse me, uh, the tree, and then I did the frame around Ooh, coffee coffee's talking back so that got a lot of love to it and I have a antique owl needle minder from nifty needle nannies no wasn't nifty needle nannies it was minding my minders that's how long I've had it been a while. All right, this one I worked on very recently. Um, Stitcher's Journal. In fact, I just I just worked on this a few days ago. So I told you these are in no particular order. Uh, Stitcher's Journal monthly last month was spelling out beach blanket bingo. Wow. Okay, Cheryl, I love you to pieces. That thing almost did me in though. Let me tell you, she comes up with the most amazing challenges. She and the whole Stitcher's Journal admin moderator uh, team come up with the most amazing things but oy that was tough but I did it I got all my letters done um, so I had to work on something that started with a G so I went, went with Glendon Place and this is Web of Stash so and I am doing this on 28 count uh, Jobelin and Dreamsicle from Under the Sea Fabrics And it shows up better in person than it does in pictures and on video and everything. But but this is where I am. And I am working on, I worked on the hoop that the spider is holding. So I did a lot of the fabric and then the floss. Because like it shows up so much better in person. Of course it's going to be backstitched so it'll show up better even then. But did a lot of, it's oatmeal oatmeal or linen oatmeal oatmeal from gentle arts a lot of that and frozen margarita from classic color works so light colors there all right and i'm coming up on all having all of the actual regular x's done on this i have a lot of back stitching still to do and i have a jack it's a jasmine beckett griffith design um but it's a needle minder of a statue that she has one of her themes and that came from Nessa's needle minders I haven't seen Vanessa in ages so darling I don't even know if you're still making needle minders all right this was another one that I just worked on I 
had to work on something that started, the designer started with an N. So I worked on Northern Expressions Needlework. I always forget if there's an S on that or not. So I worked on Peacock Mandala. And I am doing this in um, Rainbow Gallery Splendor Silk. One of those Garrett Coffee Stitcher helped me uh, pick out the colors. We kind of just looked at picture and went by what they called for and changed it to the Rainbow Gallery silks. And this is on a 14 count taupe Ada. And yeah, that's right. Okay. So it's so soft, but I did all of this. I filled in, I had the green done on the outside here. So I just, I filled in all of this here and I did this purple section here. So very fun to stitch. I have a peacock needle binder from Brenda's Minders and More. Next up, haven't a clue why this came across my uh, rotation, but it did. This is Calendar Girl, the August Calendar Girl from Little House Needleworks. And she is on 14 count pink fiddler. And I know I finished her dress. I did the whole bottom section of her dress here. So, and I have a needle binder with books in it because she's holding a book. August has a nice little stack of books under the word August. And that came from Minding My Minders. Why do I feel I have a piece right now that I need to work on that something has a book in it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't have my binder with me with all my assignments in it. Okay. Next up, another one I don't recall why I worked on it, but that's okay. And this is Count Your Blessings Stitch Shop. If I can find the picture. Well, first off, it's from the Cross Country Stitching Magazine, June 1997. That's the cover there. And here is the design right here. He's so cute. So I'm doing this on 14 count white Ada. There it is. Okay, so there it is. And I know that I did all of this yellow. So, and my pretty sparkly heart needle minder is from Gina's Unique Boutique. Next up is Gingerbread House by Clouds Factory. Do I have a picture? I do not. Nope, I just have the page I'm working on printed out. But this is 28 count Jobelin in Leslie Don't Kill Me. Kion? Kion? It's pretty. It's kind of like a purple, a lavender color. Do I have this right? I do not. I know I did a lot. I did a whole lot of green. So there's that. But I know I did this whole side here and across the top here. Why I have a Pumpkin needle minder on this for a gingerbread house. I'm not 100% sure, but I do. Now that one came from uh, Erica at True North Needle Minders. But gingerbread houses are traditionally Christmas. So I may have to change that because that's going to bother me. I know. I have problems. I'm aware of that. Okay, next up is America, Land That We Love 
by Jean Farish. I have, uh, it's an older design, and I know it came in a kit at one point, and I know you can buy it as a leaflet, but I actually bought the PDF version off of Jean Farish's Etsy shop. So, but I did, last time I worked on this, I finished the A here, and I am working on the frame around America, which means I am very close to actually getting to work on the individual states. Very exciting. It is a huge piece. It's still going to take me forever, but making big progress on it. And this is 18 count oatmeal Ada. And I have a sparkly love needle minder from Ness's Needle Minders. I don't have nearly enough patriotic needle minders. Um, I have to change that. All right, next up, I had to work with sparkly thread for, I think it was um, magical stitches. Pretty sure. Anyway, so I worked on Naughty Reindeer. Whoop. You know, ah, okay, there it is. Naughty Reindeer Train. And this is uh, by, I was looking for a designer. It has a name. Katie Rankin. Rankin. Anyway, but this is from the holiday 2015 issue of Cross Stitch and Needlework. So I have these all individually started on 14 count white Ada. So I think to get enough, did I have to work on two? I feel like I had to work on two of them to get enough sparkle um, because I had a lot of the sparkle done on several of them. But I know I worked on this one. This is the coal car. So I filled in all of the white Ada here, or the white um, Krynik. And then had to work, move to the tree car and do a little bit of green Krynik to get enough stitches in sparkle. Because so I had, it wasn't anywhere near Krynik on any of the other pieces. Next up is Soda Stitch Fairy Tale Land 1. There it is. There's a whole lot of stitches on that design. Work on this, and I'm, I sometimes wonder if I'm ever going to make real progress on it. I'll do hundreds of stitches and, and still be in the same general area. But this is huge. I mean, this is 14 count, but still, this is huge. Okay? I have, I have a ridiculously long way to go on this. Um, this is Smoketown fabric, which I love. Just got another big piece the other day from Rita. So, but here I am still working on Ansel and Gretel. But oh, it just, it looks so awesome. I, I absolutely love the progress. But I did this whole section of the gingerbread house. I filled in all of this here. So I think I worked on the roof a little bit too. Getting there. Getting there on this. And my needle minder is a books. Um, oh, what is that called? Typography. So, and that is from Lisa at give me a minute um no more lost needles another group i left only because honest to goodness i, I leave needle minder groups because i'm too tempted <laughs> there are so many pretties that i'm just like oh no i'm gonna have to leave because i'm going to be spending way too much money okay i worked on tiny modernist Miami. Okay, there it is on 14 count white Ada. And I filled in all of this water in the back 
and the black buildings here and I filled in the black on these buildings. So filled in a lot on that one. And my needle minder is a very screaming angry red anger from inside out. Um, driving in Miami, driving in Florida general is, is cause to make you that. So, but can't remember where he came from. I have the whole set. So I can't remember where they came from. Okay, next up is had to work with uh, variegated thread for this one. I do remember that. Don't remember what for what group or what reason, but this is Cherry's Jubilee by Glend in Place. And I am stitching the entire thing in Artiste uh, Spice Market. You know I say that and I'm not even 100% sure. Yes, okay. So, it's so pretty. Um, and this is 18 count beige. But this is where I am. I finished all of this section down in here. And it's, it's, it's tougher than you think to stitch these designs with uh, just one thread because uh, it's charted with all the different symbols. So your brain is telling you stop because this is where one color starts and the other one ends. But you don't have to. You can just keep going stitching with one thread. But it, it's definitely a brain exercise on that. And I have a sparkly purple needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Because it's pretty. I hear a teenager heating up some coffee. She's been working a lot of hours lately and with art class and everything. You know, some days she just has to sleep in. Okay, this is from the 2016 Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. And it's called It's Midnight. One of those that I'm almost done with one color, so I can actually start moving on to another color soon. Need another one, tough one to show. But there it is. I love he's choosing out his, his head options. Can I do that? Can I just take off body parts and swap them around for others? This is 14 Count Ada in um, Prairie prairie, gra prairie Grain. Blah, blah, blah. So, and I did finish all of the brown shelves. So yeah, I am ready to actually start a new color, I think. So, and I have a Mickey Candy Corn Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Well, October is coming, so... I do have plans to work on a different Halloween piece every day in October. Um, and then someone, bless me, I can't remember, can't remember her name, uh, was talking about having a Halloween start-a-thon and one new Halloween piece a day, which I might join her in on some of it, maybe not all of it, we'll see. I have quite a few uh, Just Cross Stitch Halloween things kitted, ready to go. So I might, I might not, might do some. We will see. Okay, uh, next up is Coffee Stronger Than Your Toddler. Um, cannot remember the name of the shop. It's on Etsy. If you look up Coffee Cross Stitch, it'll show up. But this is on 14 count uh, lemon zest, lemon, maybe? I think it's lemon zest, Ada. So I just worked on the word stronger. Almost done with that. Did all of these letters. And I have a coffee before adulting needle minder from it was Molly's shop. Enchanted Stitcher, maybe? That sounds vaguely familiar. Maybe. Don't quote me on that one. I don't remember. Okay, next up 
is the Queen of Stitching. Just an absolutely lovely piece. This is probably the design I was thinking of the other day when I I had bought some uh, 37, seven, no, 3371, but I couldn't remember what for. Doesn't help that the dog puked on my floss notebook. Animals. I love my animals. They, you think cats are the only ones that puke on things? No. My dogs do. Anyway, but this is probably the design that I was thinking of that I needed the 3371. Because this is another one that is just giant. This is 18 count oatmeal. So, but I did... Believe it or not, this was a whole lot of stitches in just this letter Q. I finished the letter Q, but that is that is several hundred stitches right there. So, need to start filling in my pin cushion there. It looks a little weird. Um, and then I have a Queen of Hearts needle minder from uh, Brenda's Minders and More. Okay, next up is Miss Ladybug from Nora Corbett. She's so pretty. I would like to, when, well, I can order from Stitch Niche. Um, they're doing where you can call in and order and then just come and pick it up on Tuesdays. So I really would like to get the other, um, gosh, it sounds weird, insect series that, that, Nora did because uh, there's the queen bee and then the honey bee. I need both of those. But anyway, this is 28 count Arbor Lugana from Picture This Plus. Figure out which way it goes. But it is this lovely pink with just a hint of green, kind of a greenish gray. It's very pretty. So, but I finished one side of the skirt. Okay, I didn't finish it because there's a lot of white still. But I did all the red, I finished the red and filled in the black on the one side of the skirt. So, and I have a sparkly ladybug needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Next up is Elephant Silhouette from Charlotte, Charlotte somebody on Etsy. This is one of the elephants I am stitching a series of in just in the same design, just different colors in memory of my mom, which I was very proud of myself the other day. She's been gone almost four years and I actually got strong enough to go through one of her boxes and I found uh, quite a bit of her elephant collection which is which is nice so now we're moving some shelves around to put those up anyway but I had this on just a little scrap of 32 count Jobelin uh, in spring morning from coloring cotton and I am just I have to fill in the elephant that's all I have to do but again that's just a whole lot of stitches so I've done several stripes on the elephant I'm using Carrie's Creation Floss in Halloween. That's the name of the floss I'm using. So, but Elephant Appreciation Day is this month. So she will actually come out and get some more work done on her. And I have a little elephant needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. And note that the trunk is up. That's one thing my mom taught me was uh, elephants with their trunks up is a sign of good luck. So all of her little elephant statues, of course, have their trunks raised. All right, I pulled out an oldie here. Don't remember why, which assignment it was for, but it is Hot Air Balloons by, I need a picture. One of these years, I'm actually going to, you know, mark the pages of the magazines before I start the video. But I don't know. 
It's this piece right here, the hot air balloons piece. And it is from Just Cross Stitch, April 1993. So it's an old issue. That's the cover. That's actually a Teresa Wensler design. But, um, but I'm working on the hot air balloon piece. And this is on a 14 count piece, uh, piece of light blue Ada. Doesn't look like much right now, but did a couple hundred yellow stitches. I have a yellow blab. And I have a sparkly Dorothy needle minder from Nifty Needle Annie's. Dorothy left Oz in a hot air balloon. Well, next to me is growing. I'm going to have so much fun putting all this stuff away. Okay, next up, heartstring samplery. His eye is on the sparrow, which I do want to get the companion piece to this that was just released at market. Uh, Lilies of the Valley, I think. Um, but I'm working this on 28 Count Lugana in Nature's Dance from Hand Dyed Fabrics from Stephanie by Stephanie. And I'm doing this over one, so no joke on the eyes. Because it is a humongous piece, the, the, the design itself. 435 by 363, so it is an enormous piece. So I should have to do this over one on 28 count. It's a lovely green fabric. And again, you wouldn't know it to look at it. I did this tree right here, and that was a whole lot of stitches. A couple hundred stitches there. I have a sparkly squirrel needle binder from Brenda's Minders and More. So, but yeah, stitch, stitching over one on 28 count is kind of lose a little bit of the variation in the thread, but not too much. Again, it shows it better in person, but um, that's just whatever gentle arts it calls for. So yeah, it was this tree right here, or this one. I think they're the same tree. But this is just a fun piece because every time you finish a little motif, it's like a mini finish, which you have to think about that as you're stitching this enormous piece. Got to grab your mini finishes where you can. All right. I worked on Well Behaved Woman by Lizzie Kate. I just worked on this the other day. I think it was a, my one of my 30 minute projects in uh, Stitcher's Journal. And this is on 16 count white Ada. It looks like 18 count, but I swear it's 16. Um, and I'm using Carrie's Creation Wildberry Breeze for all of the words. And I'm almost done with all of the words. So I did, I finished the word make and I have started the word history. Well-behaved women rarely make history. So once I do that, I just, I have to fill in the block, the block around the W. And then there's a block at the bottom with some flowers and stars. And there's a little stack of books here. So I'm, I'm getting fairly close to a finish on that. And my needle minder is from Brenda's Minders and More. And it says, here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we raise them. And I will be very, well, I am very proud of both of my girls that are both very strong-willed. I will be even more proud when they're grown up. Mothers of strong-willed daughters. You're not okay. All right. Next up is from Artisy. This was for Full Coverage Fanatics Bingo in July. July. Yes, July which I was very excited about, but that was when my stitchy bug really just kind of went poof. And um, looking for a picture, which I'm not finding. Uh, so I didn't actually work on the bingo pieces that, like I wanted to. Nope, it's not in here. Um, but it's from Artisy and it's called Halloween Minis. And it's really cool. It's just these little mini blocks of Halloween characters. So I'm working on the 
um, jack-o'-lantern square, which it's black. This is 18 count antique white Ada. So I have been working on the frame around the pumpkin and then I'll start to fill this in. So I have a creepy cool hand cameo from Delicious Threads. That'll be another one that shows up in October. Oops. I actually came to the bottom of a stack. It's amazing. I won't show you how many more stacks I have to go through, but that's okay. All right. I have been attempting, this is next up is uh, one of my Hades. I have been attempting uh, extreme cross country lately, which you know me, I don't generally do that. I'm more of a uh, diagonal stitcher. But um, with Pattern Keeper, I have found that extreme cross country, especially on pieces that I don't think I would do it on a piece with a lot of confetti. Um, it works really well for me for pieces with large chunks of a main color. So um, this one and then two others that you'll see, but you'll see those in a different video. They're both starts uh, within the last month. Um, those I'm comfortable doing in extreme cross country, but there's others that have a lot of color changes. Those are going to have to be diagonal for me. So, but this is the Quick Stitch Mad Hatter from Hannah Lynn. And I have been working on the black, which is when I started these, that's exactly how I did it. Um, a huge thank you to... Uh, Kim Hollenbeck for showing me how to separate these. When I bought these from Hades, I bought the package that had all of the designs in it. Well, you can't do that in Pattern Keeper. You can't take a multi-pack of designs and load it into Pattern Keeper. So, but Kim showed me how to go onto the internet and, you know, this Ludite needs help wherever she can. Um, and use a trial... Uh, version of a PDF separator. So that was very nice. I got them separated into individual charts so I can load them into Pattern Keeper and we were good to go. But this is where I am and I did all of this black part of the hat. So I will be doing all of the black first. And I have my, I have Mickey and Minnie in the teacups from Needle Attractions and I have we're all mad here from Nessa's Needle Minders. Okay, next up is Winter Wonderland. No. You know, I put Winter Weatherland, but I'm pretty sure it's Winter Wonderland from Pedal Pusher. I did a lot on this. This is 18 count beige. Okay. Isn't it so cute? Whole lot of color changes, but so worth it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I had this little section of the house done. Not, not the windows, not the door, just the red and the tan. So I did the whole side of the house here, the roof, the side. I filled in all the windows, the door, the chimneys, and I did two trees. So so much fun and I have a winter tree needle minder from okay. I'm just gonna go with the enchanted stitcher because that sounds close I don't know if it's right but it sounds close of what Molly's shop was called okay this was another beach blanket bingo piece for stitcher's journal I had to work on Something that started with a letter, but I had to work on that actual item in the chart. So I needed an E in the word beach. So I worked on my U, U, E, W, E, um, in You Are My Sunshine. And this is from Stitcher's World, January 2001. That's what it looks like. But this is the design. The super cute sheep. So I worked on the U, it begins with an E, English language is 
uh, just makes you shake your head. So I only had to do 100 stitches, so I just did this little section here. A lot of gray. So part of his chin, her chin, I guess it's a U, so her chin. And I have this super cute patterned sheep from Brenda's Minders and More. All right, this was another one I worked on recently for Stitcher's Journal. Again, I had to work on, on the item that started with the letter, and this was my C for Beach. The design is called Carriage House on Main from Carriage House Samplings, and I worked on the actual Carriage House for my C. And this is 28 Count Jazlin in another name that I'm going to butcher, Galeen, I think. It's a lovely blue. It's from Under the Sea Fabrics. So another piece I only had to do 100 stitches on. So I worked this way. I did this side of the carriage house around the doors, and I started working up. Kind of went around the word carriage. I'd like to do the word carriage by itself and then stitch the, the kind of uh, rust color around it rather than counting. So I'm kind of working around that. Oh, and my needle minder is really cool. It says Wonders Auto Shop. Auto, auto sales, not shop. Um, but that was from the Enchanted Stitcher. This is just a really fun design. This was the first one I had bought by Carriage House Samplings. I didn't know they had designs other than Hawk Run Hollow. So I saw that one. I thought that was just so cool. All right. This piece, Kringles from Little House Needleworks. Got quite a bit of love this last month. Uh, this is with a brand new design that just came out at market. And I am stitching it on uh, 32 count mint splash Lugana from I can't remember what that YT stands for. This was a brand new color that came out at market from a company that Stitch Knits just started buying their fabric, so I'm not 100% familiar with it. So I'll have to ask next time I see them. Anyway, but it is this lovely pale kind of blue green with the splashes of white in it just looked like snow to me so but I did the bricks that's a whole lot of bricks yep in fact I just picked up the colors the other day for filling in the bricks the the um, grout in the bricks mortar mortar the mortar in the bricks and I think yeah because I'm doing this all in the DMC conversion because it's harder than heck to get floss these days. So, but I did a whole lot of bricks. I did the entire width of the building there. A lot of bricks. And so my needle minder is a Play-Doh from True North Needle Minders. Because it's, it's a toy store. Of course they sell Play-Doh. So, but yes, yeah, just a lot of soothing stitching for me. Just filling in the bricks. And then I'm going to fill in the... The mortar and the bricks and then I'm gonna start filling in this section here. So just an absolutely lovely piece to stitch. Mm, that coffee's still talking back. Alright, so another piece that got a lot of love this last month is the Country Craft Fair by Jeremiah Junction. If I can find the front of the magazine. Okay, this is the July-August 1989 issue and it's the cover picture here, the Country Craft Fair. Okay, and I'm doing this on 14 count Ada. It's 
this this is actually kind of nice it's kind of a really firm piece of fabric but it's nice because i don't have to worry about it going anywhere my friend judith who comes to the stitching group that i go to showed me the beauty of the little clips that you can put to hold the fabric which i had seen them used on fabric on frames so i never really thought about them but she was watching me roll my fabric at the stitching meeting and she's like oh here i got a i got a gift for you so she gave me some clips and oh my goodness it's wonderful so nice so but i did i remember the last time i showed this to you but i know i did all of this i did the entire lady here her dress her apron her bonnet um, i did this side of the blanket and i started working across the top so still have all of not this part here but i have all of this to fill in on the quilt so but it, it is definitely coming along some of these pieces though i have worked on so much on the last couple months they've gotten so much work on them that some of them are going to be going away for a while because i'm tired of working on them but that's okay it's not like i have a shortage of whips do you think i don't think so okay this was another 30 minute piece for a stitcher's journal just in i think it was in my attempt to uh, revitalize my stitchy bug um i was just working on a different piece every day for the 30 minute daily the daily 30 in 30 uh in stitcher's journal yes the 30 minute a day daily journal prompt in stitcher's journal say that five times fast uh but anyway so um just working on various pieces so this is um, Calvin and Hobbes dancing from, I want to say it's from Tiny Needle, but I'm, I could be wrong. Anyway, but it's just this long piece of Calvin and Hobbes dancing to different music. So, but this is on 28 count Jobelin in Black Magic from Under the Sea Fabrics. Yes. And... I'm working on Hobbs there. Worked on his face and his hand here. Okay, and I have a Calvin and Hobbs needle minder from True North Needle Minders. It says today is a good day to have a great day. My Nightmare Before Christmas um, fan art stained glass has not gotten a lot of love lately. I need to pull it out and work on it. Um, this is on 18 count beige beta. So I did finish filling in this hill here and I worked on some purple over here. I was working on the border. I filled in some yellow and orange. I filled in Jack's, most of Jack's hand and all of his head. So getting close to having all of the color done on the first two pages. So I have an Oogie Boogie needle minder from the Enchanted Stitcher. That, you know, that doesn't sound right. The more I say it. Um, and I have Jack and Sally from Nessa's Needle Minders. The Enchanted Stitcher. The Everyday Stitcher. That's it. I'm getting Enchanted Stitches and mixed up with... It was called the Everyday Stitcher. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better. But I remembered that. Okay, I gotta take what I can get these days. My poor head. Alright, next up is the Colors of Fall. I do not have the picture. Um, it is from Charting Creations. Whoops. This was another one of my bingo pieces for full coverage fanatics. Ooh, needle. Um, so I think I only managed maybe 100 stitches, 150. So this is another one I'm doing uh, diagonal. So I finished this diagonal, the second diagonal, and I started, get that a little closer, and I started the third diagonal. And this is 28 count. Uh, Kind of a blue gray um monaco it has a name but i can't remember what it is 
Anyway, but I have all of the My Little Pony needle minders from all the different characters. The main six, anyway, from, I think, the main six and Spike. One, two, three, nope, four, five, six. Main six from the Everyday Stitcher. But it is just a lovely design from Bonnie White of just the, the mountains and a farm and all different kinds of farm animals. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful design. Okay. My Heaven and Earth Designs chart. Mini Owl Family Portrait was another one of my bingo pieces for full coverage fanatics in July. I had to work on something with birds. It was a really cool event. Um, Kim and Ann worked so hard with the, the coming up with ideas. They had to work on full coverage pieces with certain themes to them. So that was that was a lot of fun. So I'm still working. This is this is my oldest Haid. This is the first one I ever started. Um, but I'm still working on the background, which I know a lot of people don't stitch the background or pay to have the background removed. But I find it very soothing to stitch the background. So I added several hundred stitches of the of this blue. That is weird. It's looking. You can't tell that. Okay, I can. You can't really see. Looks like there's it's two different skeins there, but it really isn't. It's all the same skein. Um, this whole area is anyway. So I did several hundred stitches of the blue background. I have a sparkly. Owl Needle Minder from Brenda's Minders and More. All right, next up is Pretty Little Washington, D.C. from Satsuma Street. I don't remember why I worked on it, but I know I put a lot into it. This is on 14 Count Antique White Ada. There we are. And I did, I know I have worked on this Washington Monument here and started working on the gold and the gray right in here on the White House. So a lot of work there. And I have a Mickey Mouse patriotic striped American flag needle minder from True North Needle Minders. Next up, we have Halloween Quilt Sampler from Rosewood Manor. Just a lovely piece. And I did a lot of back stitching on this. I worked on this in July for, not July, June. Yeah, see, it's been a few months since y'all saw me, so I'm trying to remember why I worked on a certain thing. I worked on this in June for uh, Wine and Whips because, you know, backstitching makes me whine. So this is 28 count tea dyed Monaco from Charles Craft. Um, I finished the first block, did all of the backstitching, and then I did the, all of this backstitching here. So I figure I'll work on the, the blocks and then in between I'll work a little bit on the backstitching around it. So this is I have a book needle minder from Hocus Pocus and I believe that came from the Everyday Stitcher. Now I have a whole lot of blocks still to do. You can see I did finish this one so I was working on the the black da, 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 the back stitching around it. So I'll work my way down and around and then I'll move on to the pumpkin square. But there are a lot of squares. Another one that is just, it's kind of a mini finish type piece because there's so much stitching in it and so much back stitching that you got to make, you got to, you know, find ways to make you feel like you're doing progress. Okay, next up is Long Dog Sampler Castles in the Air. And I am stitching this on a 16 count gray Ada. It's not really gray. I mean, it kind of is. Kind of, yeah, kind of gray. But I am 
currently using Gentle Arts Royal Purple. So I have, I had this section done, but I worked down here and worked down and around that I'm working on one of the castles right in here. And so I have a sparkly key needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. Because every castle has a key or 500. Next up is the Prairie Schooler Noah's Ark. One of the older designs. I think this is, yeah, book number three. This is the oldest one I have. You know what, I might pull this up for Sampler September. Um, I pulled out a uh, Noah's Ark sampler by another Noah's Ark piece. <laughs> you know me and my Noah's Ark pieces um, from Teresa Wensler, but I might work on this one too. And so this is a 28 count um, Lugana. I think it's the Artiste brand that everybody hated, um, but I really don't mind if it's a little off per se, because it just kind of gives it a vintage look to it to me. Kind of a rough hewn look. So I finished the alphabet is what I did. So I did this whole bottom section and finished the alphabet. Or maybe it was the whole top section. I don't remember, but I only had one of those lines done the last time I worked on this. So I have finished the middle section, the, the lowercase alphabet on the piece. And my needle minder is, says, I can't read backwards, Jesus is the anchor of my soul. And that was from the Everyday Stitcher. You have no idea how happy it makes me that I actually remembered the name of the shop. It's not open anymore, but just remembering the name of it makes me feel a little better. Okay, next up is um, Imagination Unleashed Silhouette from uh, Charting Creations. And I can't remember the name of this fabric. It is 14 count. I think I bought it on Stash Unload. That doesn't sound right. It is a 14 count lavender Ada by Witchelt. No, maybe I didn't buy it from Stash Unload. Anyway, it's gorgeous, is what it is. That is the piece. And I am just doing this kind of, the, the book itself is just going to be a solid color down here at the bottom, down here at the bottom. And then all of the, the, the imagination coming out of the book is just going to be all kinds of random wild craziness. I have a little bit of Krainik on here, but the last time I worked on this, I was using the Carrie's Creation tie-dye floss and filling in this, this swirl right here. Isn't it so pretty? Look at those colors. Gosh, I miss Carrie's creation. I hope, I, I hope that she's okay. I mean, I know we, it just, it, she just kind of went poof and we don't know what happened. Um, but I have a fun bookworm needle minder. Probably got that from True North Needle Minders. Probably. Next up is Pac-Man from Starcross Jade, Star, maybe, on Etsy. It's the same same girl that did the the uh, so, uh, semicolon pieces that I did. I think it's Starcross Jade, but it's a Pac-Man board, which is actually going to come out again this month because we have Video Games Day. So, but I just filled in more black. More black. Another piece that is very soothing. And I have a Cherries Needle Minder from Brenda's Minders and no, True North Needle Minders probably. I don't know. It's got one of the cool backs on it, so might have been might have been Gina's unique boutique. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's Cherries because it's Pac-Man. 
All right, next up, I did just miss out on an assignment in Enchanted Stitches where you had to work on a piece with a tombstone in it, and I saw the assignment, but I never got to it. This would have been perfect. The Last Stitch Cemetery from Heinzeit. Closing in on a finish. No, I'm not. Not really. Um, this is on 14 Count Ada in... Um, uh, my mom. I had it a minute ago. It was in my head. Uh, Bramble from Picture This Plus. 16 count. 16 count Ada and Bramble from Picture This Plus. But I remember I bought the fabric. Um, it was a new color a couple years back. But I worked on this. This is the last tombstone. It really is. But these are solid. I mean, they take forever to stitch. But I did a whole lot of stitching on this tombstone. So I still have the fence to finish. I still have the rest of the ground to finish. I have the words to do. So I have, and I have the back stitching on all of the tombstones. So I've got a ways to go on this, but I actually am on the last tombstone. And I have quite a bit of it done. And my needle binder. It says, weekend forecast, cross-stitch with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. That's the weekend forecast around here all the time. So. Oh, and the charms. I still have all the charms to put on. See, each of these has a charm on it. Hindsights are those pieces that look like they would stitch up really fast. Uh-uh. They are crazy stitch heavy. Far stitch heavier than you think. You'd think. Okay. Next up is Geeky Geeky Toast from Kintima by Kana. Which, again, I missed out on working on this recently. There was a, an assignment in the Lord of the Rings group where you needed to work on something related to dwarves, related to hobbits, related to men. Well, this piece has all of it in there. Um, I worked on the word hobbits so the last time I worked on this. This is 14, 14, no, 18 count antique Ada. So I did the second half. I had the, I think I had the B and then maybe the I, but I did the second half of the word hobbits. I started working over here, so I'm almost done with the word hobbits in the middle. And I have a sparkly dragon needle minder. That is, that is stuffy from Doc McStuffins, by the way, from um, True North Needle Minders. But this is just, this is just a fun piece to stitch. You know, I love stitching words. Only has a handful of colors, but it's just really fun. Next up, I did this for Canada Day on July 1st. I pulled out Pretty Little Toronto from Satsuma Street and did quite a bit. This is 14 count white Ada. And I have a Canadian flag needle minder from True North Needle Minders. But I had this blue building done and part of this building. So I finished this building. And I did this, this is part of this building in the back. And then I started this building here. So a lot of just pretty blues and greens in this piece. Next up is Coffee Quaker from Heartstring Samplery. There it is. I, I think I had to do stitch on something related to coffee or related to a drink or something. So this is 28 Count Jobelin in Terracotta. I think it's from Mitchell. But this is where I am, and I'm just kind of changing colors at random. Some of them are similar to the colors used in the chart. They're not the actual colors. I think it's all Carrie's creation and... There might be some DMC in here. Oh, I know there's some Artiste. Um, it's a little bit of everything that I'm using on this. But I did that green 
Maybe it was I had to work on green thread. I don't know, but I did that green section right there. That flower. Oh. <sighs> that cat has a bowl of water out there. I promise you. He's got a bowl of water in the backyard. He's got a bowl of water in the front yard. What is he doing? Drinking the water out of the kiddie pool. Which is a lovely rain gauge. It shows just how much water we've gotten in the rain we've gotten in the last few days. But yeah, he's drinking the water out of the kiddie pool. Anyway, but that's where I am on this lovely piece. I just love all the different colors. And my needle minder says I need coffee. And I made that from a pin I bought. Once in a while I make needle minders for myself. Not very often, but once in a while. All right, next up is, did I work on this? I had to have worked on that. So yeah, this one I think I worked on quite a while ago, so I don't remember why I worked on it, but it's called It's a Jingle Out There by Lizzie Kate. And I worked on the reindeer, I'm still working on the reindeer. I'm using a color and cotton clay pot for the reindeer. 